This is the tale of a journey, a journey of 100 million tons of hot molten iron that touched and shaped the life and living of millions of people. A journey that strengthened and secured the country. A journey that commenced with tapping of molten metal in a brand new blast furnace Parvati of Raudkala steel plant in the wintry months of 1959 in the tribal belt of Odisha. And thus, history was created in the first public sector steel plant of the country. The hot lava that had gushed out of the furnace when the first citizen of India, the President of India, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, lighted the furnace up on 3rd February 1959, has become the proverbial harbinger of growth and prosperity for the entire region. However, the credit of 100 million tons doesn't go to Parvati alone, because after its commissioning, joined the band by four of her siblings who came to the stream subsequently in different times. The Blast Furnace 2 Lakshmi on 12th January 1960 and Blast Furnace 3 Saraswati on 8th January 1962. 3rd July 1967 witnessed the commissioning of Blast Furnace 4 Annapurna with a capacity of 1500 tons per day thereby enhancing the hot metal capacity of the plant to 1.8 million tons per annum. The first million ton of hot metal was tapped in 1961-62, while the 10 million ton mark was surpassed in 1970-71. Thriving on the hot metal streaming out from the four furnaces, the downstream units and the rolling mills flourished. The steel produced from the hot strip mill, plate mill, coal rolling mill, pipe plants and silicon steel mill established RSP as a leading producer of flat and tubular steel products of the country. With the emergence of urbanization, industrialization and economic activities surged the demand of steel, a vital element for the growth and development of the country. Under the umbrella of Steel Authority of India Limited that was formed on 24th January 1973, Raukula Steel Plant embarked upon a massive modernization that was completed by 1997. A number of upgradation schemes were implemented in the Blast Furnace 4 that increased the production capacity from 1,500 tons to 1,800 tons per day. The setting up of the steel melting shop 2 in 1996-97 facilitated the augmented production in the blast furnaces. Subsequently, the de-bottlenecking of Blast Furnace 4 increased its capacity to 2,200 tons per day which pushed the annual hot metal capacity of the plant to 2 million tons. Then came the time for the phase of a historic modernization and expansion that envisaged more than doubling the capacity of the steel plant to 4.5 million tons of hot metal and a proportionate rise in the crude steel and saleable steel capacity. Hence came to existence the largest operational blast furnace of the country of that time the Blast Furnace 5, Durga, with a useful volume of 4060 cubic meters and a production capacity of 2.8 million tons per annum. The furnace that was commissioned on 5th August 2013 has so far produced about 19 million tons of hot metal. Additional facilities were created to consume the hot metal produced in the furnace, like the new basic oxygen furnace and caster of steel melting shop 2 and a 1 million ton new plate mill. With the stabilization of Blast Furnace 5, the Blast Furnace 1 was taken down for upgradation. The entire structure was dismantled with utmost safety and on the old foundation a blast furnace with all modern features and expanded capacity was erected. The revamped furnace was commissioned on 9th May 2018. The useful volume of the furnace was increased from 1139 meter cube to 1710 meter cube, while the annual capacity went up from 0.438 million tons to 1.015 million tons. In the meantime, 
As per the plan, Blast Furnace 2 and 3 had to be phased out as they had become old, obsolete and economically unviable. The phasing out of BF2 commenced on 27th September 2014, while for BF3 it was 16th May 2016. Keeping pace with the increasing requirement of consistent production of right quality hot metal, the Blast Furnace 4 too had to be renovated. The furnace, with an upscale production capacity of 2,475 tons per day, was blown in for its seventh campaign on 9 September 2020. Modified, modernized and laced with greener and safer technology, the three blast furnaces, namely Blast Furnace 1 Parvati, Blast Furnace 4 Annapurna and Blast Furnace 5 Durga have taken the hot metal production volume of RSP to record high, scaling new peaks in quick succession, going much beyond their rated capacities. Blast Furnace, as they say, is the heart of a steel plant. The 100 million tons of dazzling liquid lava produced in the blast furnaces of Raudkula steel plant has not only illuminated the lives of every stakeholder, but has also gone for making of those bridges and boilers, vessels and vehicles, cylinders and skyscrapers, ships and submarines, poles and pipelines, power generators and power transferers that have added strength to the sinews of the nation in the last more than six decades. And the journey is on, now at a faster pace. Great moment for sale RSP and it is really the time to celebrate. Time to celebrate the contributions made by the employees of Roka Dusty Plant. Out of 61 years, 100 million and last 18 years produced 50 million. Despite of having COVID and all. So it is the great contribution, great teamwork and dedication by Roka Dusty Plant collective.